Um, excuse me. Not Nicki Minaj's husband, Kenneth Petty, cheating on her after she risked her entire career to be with him in the first place. According to reports, Kenneth was caught bringing in a bunch of strippers into their house while Nicki was away on a business trip. As if that wasn't bad enough, his ex-girlfriend, Redbone No, also came out to reveal that Kenneth was never in love with Nicki, and he's just been using her all this time to get his money right and fix all of his legal issues so he can leave her. And baby, it looks like Cardi B is having the last laugh in her feud with Nicki. Cause if y'all remember, Nicki was just clowning Cardi when she was having a mental breakdown over Offset cheating on her. But now she's also getting cheated on with not one, but multiple women in her own house. Karma really is that girl, huh? Okay. Okay, so if y'all been on social media for a while, then y'all probably have been seeing people dragging Nikki's husband for filth because of his nasty criminal record. This man was arrested back in 1995 when he was 17 years old for attempting to SA a 16 year old named Jennifer Hugh. He pled guilty to the charges and ended up serving a four year sentence. As if that wasn't bad enough, both him and Nikki were sued by Jennifer for trying to intimidate her, but the case was later thrown out of court for lack of evidence. People dragged Nikki and said she was risking her legacy and her entire career to stay with a man who don't add no value to her life. Now you would think Kenneth would probably be on his best behavior since Nikki is the one bringing in all the money and has pretty much put her whole career on the line to be with him. But no, he is out here allegedly cheating on her her while she's away making some money. This was first revealed by a blind item who revealed that Kenneth was caught bringing in a series of strippers into their house while Nikki was away in her hometown Trinidad for a carnival celebration. Apparently, the reason why he couldn't go with Nikki was because he's on probation for failing to register in the state of California. Okay, this blind item is from Crazy Days and Nights. A lot of noise is buzzing that the foreign-born A-list rapper finally dumped her murder serial rapist husband because he didn't travel with her overseas. He isn't allowed to travel with her. There have been a series of strippers headed to his house while she has been gone, though. And that's allegedly Nicki Minaj and her husband, Kenneth Petty. And the headline reads, Nicki Minaj is a vision in violet at Trinidad Carnival 2023. So I guess he didn't join her there. This was later confirmed after it was announced that Nikki had bought her new home for 19 million. See, because Kenneth is required to have his current address on file with the California registry. However, according to Media Takeout, the home that Kenneth is reporting that he lives in is not the same as Nikki's new mansion. He's living in the house that Nikki used to live in with him before buying her new house. Some fans are now speculating that they're probably living in different houses because they're going through marriage issues. These rumors were fueled after Kenneth's ex-girlfriend, Redbone No, hinted that Kenneth had been cheating on Nikki with her for quite some time now, when she posted a couple of cryptic messages to her IG stories, around the same time that the news broke out about Kenneth cheating on Nikki. She said, F love, treat people how they treated you. They always come back when you got that fire. Now the crazy thing is, this isn't the first time that Redbone has thrown some shade at Nikki. In fact, back in 2018, when Nikki announced that she was dating Kenneth, Redbone put Nikki on blast for using her fame and money to steal Kenneth from her. She said, I have no problem with her, but she messing with my man that was living with me. How he just wake up and chase behind a rapper. I mean, I know she famous and all, and girls chase rappers all the time, but as a man, my man, I wouldn't expect that 
at all. But Nikki defended herself, and she said that her and Kenneth were childhood sweethearts and fell in love again when they met. There was even a crazy theory going on at the time that Redbone was friends of Cardi's BFF Star Brim, and that Nikki stole Ken from Redbone as an indirect shot at Cardi B. The source said Noelle happens to be friends with Cardi and good friends with Cardi's BFF Star Brim. Some people are speculating that Nikki just stole Noelle's man as some type of indirect shot at Cardi. Now I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I feel like this source was just making things up for clout. I highly doubt Nikki would go out of her way to date Cardi's friend's man just to spite Cardi. That doesn't even make any sense, cause how exactly is that gonna have any effect on Cardi? Chow, anyways, so going back to Nikki and Kenneth, word on the street is the reason why she has kept her alleged separation from him a secret is because she doesn't want people to clown her after sacrificing so much for a man only for him to cheat on her with his ex and a bunch of random strippers. However, it looks like Nikki's greatest fear has come to life because it's now public information that her husband is cheating on her and Cardi is clowning her for it. Cardi reportedly feels like this is Nikki's karma for making fun of her when she was having a whole mental breakdown over Offset cheating on her. Now, if y'all remember, Cardi went on an explosive rant a few days ago and put Offset on blast for cheating on her and ruining their marriage. She was crying and being all vulnerable about how she felt. But while everybody was consoling her and sending her words of encouragement to make her feel better, Nikki took it upon herself to be petty and threw shade at Cardi, seemingly mocking her pain. She posted a meme of Michael Jackson on Twitter around the time that Cardi was breaking down on live. Now, if y'all didn't know, Offset has been cosplaying as Michael Jackson for quite some time now in his music videos and even got a tattoo of Michael on his belly. So it wasn't really hard for people to catch the shade that Nikki was throwing. Folks were not here for this and they dragged Nikki to filth. Like this person who said, but Nikki is still married to that RSO who's on probation. She should be the last person laughing at someone's bad luck. Cardi was not here for Nikki's BS and she put both her and her husband on blast. Take your man to a park and leave me alone. I'm really 100. Today is not the day. Baby, Cardi ate Nikki's messy self right up with that one. She should have just sat there and focused on her man instead of inserting herself in Cardi's business. Anyway, so as y'all can see, Nikki dragged Cardi when she was already going through it and Cardi is quick to return that same energy. It's honestly really sad that these two women can't go a day without putting each other down over very irrelevant things. Now, as usual, people had their own thoughts about this. Like this person who said, I wouldn't even put something like this past Kenneth. Didn't he cheat on his first baby mother and leave their children to be with Nikki? What made her think she was any different? Now she's effed up her legacy and is known to many as a three time, maybe more, SA apologist. Another person said, I don't understand why Nikki married him and proceeded to have a baby with him if he can't even leave the state. They can't even travel together. I guess she felt like the clock was ticking and she needed to hurry up and have a baby since she is 40. So she went to someone she knew from her past since most industry men are evil, conniving manipulators. But now I wanna know your thoughts. What do y'all think about Nikki's deadbeat husband cheating on her? And how do y'all feel about Cardi clowning her for it? Y'all been knew what to do. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to click here to watch this other very messy video.